So we begin by looking at the area of a sector. So when a circle of radius R units is divided into two congruent sectors, the angle of each sector is a quarter of a complete turn. That is 360 degrees divided by four, you get 90 degrees. So we have the circle of center O with the radius R units. Then the circle is divided into four congruent uh, sectors. And the size of each sector, the size of the angle of each sector at the center is 90 degrees. So you notice that the area of each sector is a quarter of the area of the circle. Also, when a circle of radius R units is divided into six congruent sectors. The angle of each sector is a sixth of a complete turn. That is 360 degrees divided by six, you get 60 degrees. So 60 degrees is the size of each angle of each uh, congruent sector. So if you find the area of each sector, you notice that it should be equal to a sixth of the area of the circle. So the size of each fraction is determined by the angle of the, se of the sector at the center of that circle. For example, the first one, when we divided the circle into four congruent sectors, the fraction was a quarter. So a quarter was gotten from 90 divided by 360. Now in the second uh, circle, when it is divided into six congruent sectors, the a sixth, the fraction a sixth is gotten from 360 divided by 60. So the size of each fraction is determined by the angle of the sector. So in general, the area of a sector is a fraction of the area of the circle. So if you're given a circle center O, and you're given a shaded region such that the angle of the sector is shown as theta, then the area will equal to theta over 360 pi r squared.